Before um, the Thrive program, I thought I was alone. I was more of an introvert prior to coming here. Kind of felt isolated before. During that time, I was like, oh my God, this is the end of the world, and there was no hope. I wasn't just sort of home-centered, I was really homebound. One of the biggest challenges that a lot of our clients seem to face is social isolation. You know, especially with mental health, people tend to shut themselves in. Coming and working with a recreation therapist or being part of a program like Thrive offers somebody that opportunity to not only just build meaningful connections, but actually gain skills so that they can go create meaningful relationships with people in the community and feel that they have that ability to do so. The programs and the interventions that we do, the one-to-ones, really help meet their specific needs because everything that we're doing is very client-focused. It's very personalized when I'm meeting an individual and getting to know them and like what drives them. It's really what they want to do and what they want to work on. We can give suggestions, of course, if that's something that we can or they're open to, but they're really driving the boat. They're really driving themselves forward, which is empowering. There's a program called Community Kitchen because I love to feed people. It helped me get organized. It helped me a little bit about kitchen stuff and and just enjoying feeding people is so fulfilling. Recreation and leisure is really unassuming, right? It's something to do and it's something for fun. But what people don't realize is that within the moment of doing a thing that's fun, um, there are a lot of really teachable moments. Seeing how members of Thrive can have uh, different opportunities in order to practice public speaking within a familiar social setting, feeling a little bit more safe within that environment and having that as a practice setting for them to go out into the community. While they're learning the skills in all these different areas, I think confidence is the biggest one that I see that crosses all the domains. They leave feeling that they have skills and they have confidence to then be able to go and connect into activities that are meaningful for them personally. My favorite was actually the dragon boating. Oh, dragon boating for sure. <laughs> that pretty much changed my life. It really forces you to be social and yet have a great time while you're doing it and be active at the same time. It gave me a drive, it gave me purpose. It's like a, a long-term goal, basically. I started working out, started dieting, started just <laughs> doing everything to fit dragon boating into my life. You often see a change from when somebody first comes in and they don't have much confidence in themselves. Maybe it's been years since they've actually taken part in any activity. They don't even know what they enjoy due to their mental health journey that they've been on. It showed me a lot of things that I can do. Like before I thought, oh, I can't do anything. Like I'm no good. But all the classes from Open Door would give me a purpose to come here to accomplish something. It taught me how to enjoy. It's amazing to see six months later, people going out and connecting and being part of activities, being part of groups that are running and feeling like they don't actually need the support of Thrive anymore. I started crochet here and I end up helping uh, teaching <laughs> right now. I, I never thought I would do that when I started. And I made some friends, like fellow classmates. But looking into starting a crochet group, there are a lot of other mindfulness activities, but crochet is special because you actually end up with an object you can use. Thrive program has bettered my life and almost every aspect. I applied and successfully got a job. I found a competitive team. I'm much more motivated, I'm much more social. I now have goals for the future, long-term, short-term. Everything is just falling into place.